And he joins us now. Good afternoon, Noel. Good afternoon, Jeremy. Good afternoon, Dana. Yeah, well, Dana is right here. Um, and before we, we put you in touch with the cat, just tell us what motivated you to, to do this, to reach out to pets. Well, first of all, um, I think animals are the finest creatures on the planet, far superior to us. Uh, the pet population of the UK isn't actually accurately known, but we have something like 9 million dogs, 7 million cats, 3 million reptiles. The National Audit Office estimates there are 60 million fish. And when you take into account personal pets, such as nits, head lice and ticks, the number of pets in the UK is probably over 100 million. And I think we, we need to care more for them. And um, I created Phone a Pet actually um, to be a feature on my new radio station, Positively Knoll, which I'm launching on October the 24th. And I didn't think anything more of it. It was just going to be a little feature. And then suddenly all this took off and um, I'm exhausted. I mean, I've had thousands of submissions to my website, noel.world, and I've been overwhelmed by the kindness of people asking me to come into their lives and talk to their, their pets, so much so that my team met this morning and we are now going to, to launch the world's first dedicated radio station, Positively Pets. Okay. I think it's, well, I think it's needed. Well, so Jaron is listening and, and I think, Jaron, if you could just describe what it is that Dana might get from Noel Edmonds, what, what sort of help that Dana needs. Uh, so maybe just some encouragement that the way she's been treated in the past will, will not be how things will yeah. be in the future. Um, yeah. She's had quite a tough life. We don't know who abandoned her. She was abandoned in a box. She was emaciated when we found her. And we are nursing her back to health. But maybe just some encouragement in general would be would be nice. OK, Noel, just to well, let you know, technically speaking, we've got a little speaker here. I'm going right. to move... So she will hear your voice if I move her closer to the speaker. So you're through to Dana now. She's listening. OK, well, firstly, obviously, well done to the people that rescued her. What I'm go What I'm going to do... Uh, this will please her enormously. This is the sound of uh, a very happy cat purring. Dana, don't be frightened. You're in the BBC, but don't worry. It's possible to escape. And trust me, there is life outside the BBC. What a lovely name you have, Dana. In addition to that wonderful Irish girl, Dana, who won the Eurovision Song Contest, I hope this is working, there's another very famous Dana, Queen... Latifah, the rapper, singer, and film actress who received a Grammy for her role in Chicago. It's not her real name is Dana, just like yours, Dana. It's Dana it's Owens. And you're like this, her star sign is Pisces. Fish, Dana. Fish. You like fish, don't you? Oh, and Jeremy's team are going to play a song in honour of the difficult journey you've had. Fontella Bass singing Rescue Me. And at this moment, his team are running around going... Oh, Luminate, we didn't know he was going to say that. Well, Dana, can... I send you love, I send you positivity, and I send you constructive energy from Jeremy and myself. Now, Have what... a happy life. All right, let me just let's see if we can get some response. She heard every word, Noel. Dana, that was Noel Edmonds. That was Noel Edmonds. She's got, while he was speaking, she did get closer to the speaker and she, she became did. what do you think Joan? because you know her I, I think I did notice her become much more relaxed I saw her kneading with her front paws meaning she's uh, she certainly has relaxed a whole lot uh, since hearing your voice I think she's maybe uh, telling you to tell people that she is up for adoption so maybe maybe tell people that okay. she's looking for yeah. a lovely home you've, you've got you've touched on some you, would the cat know who Noel Edmonds is uh, uh, yes we've told her she, she's she's aware and when we told her she she said I Jeremy, you know Jeremy pack it in Right. Yeah. What? How? How long would that's you normally? Cheap, that's a cheap one. Every animal in this country knows who I am. Yes. Now pack it in, Jeremy. How, how long would you normally talk? Just so people know what to expect now. How long would you normally talk? It depends to a cat on for? the issues, Jeremy. Um, last weekend, which is what kicked all this off, actually, I didn't realise I was talking to a cat who has a full NUJ card and works for the Guardian. Um, uh, it, it's totally dependent upon the issues. Um, I try to be very positive and encourage because a lot of pet owners don't spend time encouraging their animals. Uh, one cat I dealt with had a bed wetting problem. Well, actually, it was a sofa wetting problem. Um, the DFS was being wrecked and um, 
well, let's face it, we'd all like to do that to a DFS sofa, but there was a boa constrictor off its food. Um, and a lot of a lot of our pets have guilt, you know, um, the, it's very easy for owners to pass on guilt to their pets. We, we know that McDonald's and Coke is bad for us, but we stuff our faces with it. And, and, and cats feel the same. They know they shouldn't kill mice and birdies, but um, you can help your cat with guilt. Don't tell it off. Just say, that's naughty and you'll pay for it in heaven. OK, we're going to play the, the record that you've suggested, Noel. And oh, well done, Jeremy. No, we actually, by, by coincidence, we had it stacked up today. I don't know whether you... I wondered if you'd seen our running order. So we've got that. Do stay if you can, Noel, because I know we'll get listeners who want to talk to you. And a uh, lot, lot of love for the cat. Thank you very much. Thank you, Donna, Jeremy, for bringing Donna, the... Donna, we love you, Donna. Donna, we love you. Donna's near the speaker now. Donna, can you hear I love Noel? you more than Jeremy, Donna. <laughs> Jeremy's only doing this just for a laugh, but I oh, love you. So wrong, so wrong. Never laugh about animals. 0500 288 291 if you want to call. Noel is on the line he could speak to your pet jeremy vine here bbc radio 2 with noel edmonds who i feel like i've listened to on the radio for years and years and years and also here in the studio we have jaron sonmez from the celia hammond animal welfare trust and the rescue cat dana who noel has been trying to help and jaron i'm not just saying it but as noel spoke to the mm -hmm. cat it visibly calmed I, I thought so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It moved closer to the speaker. Yes, so whatever, maybe it was just that sense of a personal connection, Noel. Yeah, do you know, something very interesting happened here. We have a rescue cat, King Louis, and he had been in the garden, and he came in as you were playing that Fontella Bass thing. And, um, by the way, um, I did look at the website that Dana is featured on, and I would recommend other people go and look on that website because some lovely friends there who are looking for homes. And, you is, know, um, rescuing animals is so important. And we should make clear, it's not just cats, because I saw a report that you'd spoken to a python yesterday. Yes, pythons are, are, are tricky because of a lack of, um, well, frankly, reaction. Um, but um, the, the breadth of things is very interesting. I mean, uh, since you've been mentioning this, my, my thing's going mad here. Jerry's a hamster um, running in the wheel, says Fred Searle. Um, and obviously stressed at the moment because he likes to watch Bake Off. And so obviously the future of Bake Off is stressing him. Um, and, I, and I've had Pinky, who's a short hair, white with stripy tail, um, very old, sensitive. Oh, gosh, it's going mad. Lots of allergies. Um, I, I, I really do believe that by by taking a positive attitude with your, your pets. You can really help them. Don't, don't look down to them just right. because they're at a, a lower level. We've got, let's just talk to a listener here, Jane Nolson in Perth and Kin Ross. Your dog, Sasha, <coughs> excuse me, Sasha is a bit down, and, and I gather you are as well, Jane. Yes, that's right. My husband suffered a stroke back in June, and it's a, what they call a sensory stroke. So he's unable to walk, but he doesn't realise that. Oh, dear. And the dog has sort of gone down with him, has he? Well, she's a rescue dog. We've just had her two years, and she's come on amazingly. So, of course, I'm desperate at the moment just to try and make sure that, you know, she doesn't go downhill. Well, is there, are you able to put the phone on a speaker so Noel can get through to Sasha? Well, I'm actually right. She's right here beside me, so I'll just hold it, hold it right down to her. OK, Noel, it's a dog called Sasha. Here you are, Sasha. Well, first of all, hello, Jane, and um, hello to Sasha. Um, Sasha, I'm very sorry to hear that you've had uh, this great sadness, um, and I do hope that you will be able to provide positive um, support for, for Jane as well. It's, um, it's so important that we all bond together. There is no division between the pets in our lives and the people we are. So, Sasha, I send you lots and lots of love, and I'm sure Jane wants to give you lots of cuddles, and there's a wonderful role to play here in supporting the rest of the family. Jane, you didn't mention your husband's name, and I would like to send best wishes to him. His name is uh, William, Billy. William. Billy. Well, I'm very sorry to hear your story. It, you know, it's important. That there's a light-hearted element to this, obviously, but we must also remember how important animals are in our lives. And uh, I do hope that, that William soon feels a lot better. And, well, uh, and I, hope, I hope that Sasha also uh, 
um, feels oh, she, better as well. Yeah. She's amazing. He refers to her as the Bairn. She's oh, I'm Bairn. sure. Yeah. Yes, I'm sure. Well, it's and often... I, I do, often do, do give William our very best wishes. I know a, dog, a, a pet, Jane, particularly a dog, very, is very, has a very sharp sense of what's going on around them. And if your husband is seriously ill, I can imagine the dog does start to get down as well. Exactly, exactly. She picks up on she picks up on everything uh, because obviously my mood, I go up and down like a a roller coaster. Yeah. So she picks up on that. Uh, so I have to try and keep myself on a an even keel for do, both our sakes. Say, do you yeah. Remember, there are some really good animal behavioural people. I mean, proper qualified people. I'm, I'm not. I'm not making myself out to be qualified in this area. I'm not a vet. Um, there are people who really understand this whole area. And there's a lot of information online. I'm just trying to, um, in a light-hearted way, prove that the British sense of humour is still alive and well. Um, I've got a suspicion, Jeremy, that a lot of people making these applications actually want to talk to me, uh, which is another issue. But, um, you know, I, I, know. I, I would talk to... I would talk to animal behavioural experts, of which there are some excellent ones. Thank you very much to Jane Nolson. Best wishes, Jane, to you and your family. Noel Edmonds there, talking from France. That beeping sound, by the way, I think was just people trying to get in touch with Noel while during the item to actually say, you know, can you talk to my pet? And just an update on, on Dana, Jaren, how Dana is doing. She's purring, she's curled up on my lap, she's very, very relaxed and so she's happy. the call from Noel may I, have been a turning it point. It may have worked, it may have, yes. Thank you very much. All right, so there we are. Um, that was today's show.